Hi everybody, it's Karen Anna here from the Active IQ Marketing Team, back with another one of uh, 2020 finalists for the AOC Fitness Trainer Competition. And um, today we are joined by Alfie Smith. Hi Alfie, Hello. how Hello. are you doing? Doing very well, thank you very and, much. And where are you joining us from today? Which part of the so, world? I'm currently in Bournemouth as I've just started my university course. So ah, I'm in my accommodation at the moment. So yeah, new settings. So. Oh, congratulations. So obviously, Thank you. Um, you were part of the Haven't and Safe Downs College, weren't you? I was, yeah. Okay, and so, so now you've just joined, is it, is it Bournemouth University? I'm Bournemouth sure? University, yeah. Oh, Over in Bournemouth. so exciting times. So, so tell us about what, what you're going to be doing at university. So I've decided to go for a sports therapy course. Um, so that's due to the fact that I, my aim as a career is to hopefully end up working at a top level team, you know, as a therapist. Um, and that's, that's the goal really. So we'll see where it takes me. Oh, okay. That's exciting. So, so, so when did you move in? So obviously you just said you got down there. Is, is that quite yeah. recent? Yeah. So I, I've been here just over a week now, so I'm, I'm fairly settled already. You know, I'm comfortable. I feel like I've been here, you know, forever, so, <laughs> but it's good. No, I really like it down here. Very nice place. Oh, uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've done a couple of events in Bournemouth. It, it, it's, it's very nice bit to be near the coast. It's, uh, yeah, it's quite, yeah. probably not this time of year. It's probably not the best time of year to be down the coast. No, but, uh, no. Chilly. <laughs> <laughs> so, lo lots of running and fitness by the beach. Is that right? Yeah, Alfie? for sure. Yeah. Oh, so it's, it's ideal. Really nice. Really nice. <laughs> and of course, all the donuts and candy floss that also go with it. <laughs> well, we won't talk about those. No, no, that's a secret. <laughs> No, no, but no, that's what Anna and I talk about all the time, all the shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, so great. Um, so can you tell us what, what you studied at Haven and South Downs when you were there? Okay, so I spent two years at Haven and South Downs College and I did a level three extended diploma in health, fitness and performance. So that was very uh, fitness instructor based in the first year. Um, and the second year, it was more of working with clients one to one and um, learning how to adapt to and learn about, um, you know, giving, giving yourself someone that you don't necessarily know yet and seeing how you can work with them to help them achieve their goals. So, yeah, really, I really enjoyed my time at college. Oh, fantastic. And have you always wanted to become a PT? I mean, how did you start in the fitness industry? So, I mean, I'd... I'd when I was younger, I was never really a, um, I was never really keen with my uh, sport or fitness like, at all, really. I had no interest in it. But um, I'd say when I was around 15 or so, I decided, you know, I want to, I want to change this. I want to get into the fitness world and see, see what it's like. So, um, you know, I started going to the gym. I was getting into better shape and I thought how good it made me feel doing it myself. You know, it might seem quite typical, same old went with me. So I um, so I was like, you know, I want to see if I can help other people feel like this. So I chose personal training course. Funnily enough, my, I didn't actually apply for the course until a good, like, I'd say a week before it started. So it was a very last minute decision, but one that I'm definitely glad I made. So, so, so you say it was a last minute decision. So, so what was you going to mm. go beforehand? Was, was Ooh, something else you were right. going to lean towards? I mean, the way I saw it, I wanted to do get the highest possible grades I could in education before I moved into work. So I, I looked at A-levels to begin with. Um, it was, I was going to do graphics, I know, as one of them, because I, I enjoyed doing that at school. So I was, I was thinking going down the graphics route. Um, I decided, I, I don't know, something, something, you know, I felt like a personal training course was the one for me. So that's what I went with in the end. And look at you now. So now you're yeah, there we go. <laughs> so when does your studying start? Uh, so I start on Tuesday tomorrow, really. So I've already done a few uh, of the induction Zoom calls. So I've met a load of my classmates online. But um, yeah, no, it's really good. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. And is it all online or is it a bit of blended learning? Do you get to go into un the university? Um, so until at the moment, until December, it's all going to be online. Um, of course sports therapy a very hands-on career so um I, I believe in the new year if things are all good we'll um 
we'll start doing more practical sessions. So let's hope for that. Well, fingers crossed. Obviously, fingers yeah. crossed it gets back to a bit of normality and, and you get to, 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 get to crack on with that. Yeah. So where's your dream goal then, Alfie? Obviously, you're at university, so mm. I, I would say that you're particularly going to be very busy with that very shortly. Mm. Um, but where's your dream? You know, where, where do you want to take sort of like, you know, your, your career in the uh, fitness industry? So in terms of my personal training, I want to certainly, while I'm down here, um, I'm, I want to get a job. I think what I'll do, I'll start off at a gym, you know, as many P PTs do, um, get my name about, you know, let people, you know, get like a notoriety, you know, try and get people to um, hear, like, recognize my name. So I'll do that, um, probably at a part-time job for the time being. And then if I can succeed, get my degree in sports therapy, I want to work, I'd start most likely at lower league teams, um, preferably in football, because that's my sport. You know, I love, I love my football. So um, start there and then hopefully work my way up and get to the top. <laughs> and I guess, are there any football teams on mind that obviously you're, you're really gunning for or hoping for? Yeah, Ar Arsenal's the one for me. Awesome. Arsenal Football Club, that's, that's my <laughs> one. So that's the dream. That is the dream. So, so you're a gunner. So, so you're uh, there you go. I'm a gunner. That's it. <laughs> That's good. It's, it's, it's always to have a good, have a good time of dream, isn't it? So it's obviously like a little bit of a mission to the Arsenal Football Club, if they're watching then, of course. Mm, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so can you tell us, like, how did you get involved in the fitness training competition? Who, who inspired you to get involved with that? Or, or, or did you hear about it previously, obviously, at your time at college? So I was made aware of it by my lecturer at college, uh, James Florence. He's brilliant. He's so helpful. Um, James is lovely you know, well. yeah he's a really really good guy and Rob of course can't leave him out he'll have a go at me <laughs> <laughs> so Rob as well um, yeah it's brilliant so he um, you know he, we did a kind of competition at college with the group of us PTs um, so they could decide who they'd send through to the competition um, me and my friend came up uh, they picked four of us I believe um, in the end um, to go into the heats and um, yes yeah, and luckily I managed to get through and I'm here today so there we go. Fantastic I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a massive achievement obviously we need to say a yeah. massive congratulations to you for being you. a 2020 finalist and uh, so obviously now you are a finalist you know did, did you have a look at some of the videos and stuff from last year the competition obviously when it was at the NEC? Yeah so um, we had two other uh, competitors from last year from having it in South Downs, Jake, Jake and Luke. Um, I see Luke quite often down um, David Lloyd's, the club that he worked at uh, in Portsmouth. So, um, you know, I had a chat with them. I got some advice off them on how to approach the competition. Um, oh, that's great. And, yeah, they really helped me out. So, yeah, it's really well, good. That, that, that's really good to hear because obviously we remember uh, Luke and Jake really well. And actually, uh, Jake put Anna through her paces. Uh, Jake actually gave mm. Anna a little bit of a PT session, didn't he, Anna? Really? Yeah. <laughs> have it on camera as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's lots of evidence. There's lots of evidence on YouTube about that going on. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, I remember Luke and Jake really well. You know, they're, they're, again, both really great, uh, really mm. nice guys and, and great yeah. finalists as well. So, uh, yeah. So, you know, obviously, Haven't and South Downs, is the trophy going to head its way, obviously, back that end this year? I'd hope so. I'm going to give it my best shot, that's for sure. Oh, well, we wish you all the best with that. That sounds absolutely brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> so can you tell us about your journey in the competition so far? What have you had to do to kind of get to the, this final stage? Right. So I just come off the back of uh, learning more advanced uh, kind of information or, you know, things to do in terms of how I approach my personal training. Um, so I started off with, like, I made... Uh, the video at home uh, with Ray. I did the Zoom call, the live session. Uh, that went really well, so I was really pleased with that. Um, you know, I, he was he was sweating by the end of it, which was ideal. You know, I, I mean, it helps that it was. I think it was the hottest day of the year at the time, so <laughs> it was in my favour. So um, yeah, that was good. Um, of course, I've got uh, with the finals coming up. I've got some videos done for that as well which I'm really excited to show because I, I really do enjoy 
doing the video making as well. That's a really big part of it for me. So that's what I really enjoy doing the most, I'd say. That'd be where the graphics side of you comes from yeah. then. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, that's probably it. <laughs> so you can use some of your other skills and passions to... Mm, yeah, that's it. That is it. Yeah. That's great. Um, can you tell us, you know, what your, your reaction was when you were like found out that you were a finalist for, for the Oh, I, I was over the moon. I was so happy because um, these, these kind of things mean a lot to me. It shows that I'm, as myself, I'm able to get to these places. You know, it's, it could have been in the context of anything and I would have been uh, like pleased. But for the uh, personal training, that really does mean a lot to me. I mean, uh, I, I felt bad for my friend George, who was also in the heats with me. He, he's brilliant himself, but um, no, I'm, I'm, he was really proud of me as well. So, yeah, really good. Really happy. Fantastic. And, ha and how did your tutors feel, obviously, when, when, uh, when you all found out? He, he was really, he's really proud of me. He was. He was. Um, of course, he, James, he loves to uh, keep his reputation at an all-time high whenever he can. So he was chuffed a bit when he found out I got to the final. It's brilliant. And more importantly, what did you do to celebrate? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, my, I mean, me and my, fa my family, they were really happy for me. You know, and they said that even getting to the finals alone is an achievement, you know, let alone winning the thing. So, um, yeah, we went out for a meal that day and, yeah, really nice. Oh, <laughs> you've got lots of support then. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Oh, that, that's, a, that's so good. That's so good to hear. So, of course, if we look at 2020, it's been a bit of a challenging year for us all. A um, bit of a strange one. We know we're not used to all this um, Zooming and Skype no, no. and, and everything else that, that we do now. Uh, obviously, a few of us have some challenging with the old, uh, you know, this, this new world that we're in. So, mm. if someone was watching this video and was maybe thinking about getting started in, in, in fitness or just didn't know really how to get started, what sort of a bit of advice could you maybe give to them to like, you know, sort of, because we know that fitness increases mental health well-being as well. Uh, and of course, you know, with lockdown, you think, you know, that's been massively affected. Yeah. Uh, could, could you give some advice to someone maybe watching the video thinking, you know, you know what, what can I do to get started and, uh, you know, start this journey? I definitely can. So uh, from a personal standpoint, motivation was probably the hardest part. You know, if you don't have someone or something to keep you motivated, you're just not going to make any progress. Like that's, that's the reality of it. So um, if you're, as, as obviously the conditions in the world at the moment, I would suggest like videos. There's, you can find so many online that can really, really help you and motivate you because um, you know, that's where my kind of inspiration came from. I saw videos on YouTube and it, it really, you know, it motivated me. It really did. Um, and also getting in contact with a friend of yours. You know, that's what a couple of my friends are doing here at uni. They're saying, if I go, you're going with me. We're going to start this together and we're not going to stop. So uh, that's, that's a good way to go for it. Um, and yeah, that's it. You just got to find, it, it doesn't even have to be uh, fitness related necessarily. But with me, when I go to the gym, I can't go without music. I love my music. It pushes me when I'm going to the gym. So you've got to find that little thing that keeps you going and just roll with it. I love that. I, yeah. th I love that. I th I th I th that's a really good bit of advice. I mean, it's, it's almost like, uh, like you say, like finding that bit of music that, you know, you know, as soon as you put it on, you know, you know, you know like that's your jam. And, you know, it's just like, yeah, yeah that's, that's it. Awesome. Put that song on, get to the gym, the uh, you know, or, um, yeah. Or, other advice like you know, you know the buddy up system like you know you know get get, get someone to like you know get started yeah. with you at the same time or just have that encouragement mm -hmm. and build that up i think i think that's a really really good a, a great advice i mean i haven't had that one yet actually so that's really great <laughs> really yeah i haven't <laughs> had that one yet so, so that's, that's wow. really really good actually. i like that yeah i like, like that one that's that's i'll be oh, one of our top, top bits of advice that one so, of course, okay. um, thankfully, the fitness training competition, competition is still going ahead. It's going to be online. It's, it's fully digital, which mm -hmm. is fantastic news. And I know that the, uh, the team at AOC, AOC Sport obviously put a lot of effort into that and all the judges, of course. But can you obviously tell us now what that looks like for you as a finalist? So what have you got coming up in the finals? And uh, obviously, tell us a little bit about the preparation work you've got to do behind the scenes. Yeah, sure. So I feel a big advantage that I may have heading into the final is that uh, I have a lot of college work at my disposal, of which works best for me, you know. So 
I've, what I've done in college is what I know is going to help me to remember things, to learn things. So we have in the final, there is a 12 week progressive plan, which we have to write up for the client. That is something of which was worked on heavily when I was in college. So I feel like that's something I could have an advantage at. I've had to do multiple um, like pre-screening interviews, uh, inductions. So that's, I've got a lot of stuff. Uh, already learned and that I should be hopefully be able to use at my disposal when it comes to the final. That's fantastic. So, so have you got your plan? Have you got your schedule yet of, of what those final sort of uh, tasks look like? So at the moment, what I've done is I've done the videos uh, that need to be submitted. Uh, I'm now going to spend the next couple of weeks working on a 12 week progressive plan. What I've decided to do is leave what I know I can brush past and like you know get through really easily just until the end i wanted to work more and get uh, like a really good quality video out of um out of it you know i've done a lot of editing for it so shoot hopefully it comes out all right fantastic and is there anything you're most looking forward to in the final i, I was looking forward of course to going to the nec and doing it all live but you know that's not going to happen now but i feel that although uh Comfort's not always the best thing when you're trying to perform well. I feel like being at home, being able to just be in control of a lot of things will play to my strengths a little bit more. Because um, I feel like when I'm doing things live, you know, I might have a lot of slip ups. Um, I do typically fumble on my words sometimes. So I feel like I can cut those out while I'm doing it online. With so I hope that I can do that, yeah. Oh, that's that's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you'll be absolutely fine. I, I, I think it's one of those things that it's it's about trying not to overthink it as well. Mm, yeah, um, sure. and, and I think, I mean, we, we had the pleasure of speaking to the judges the other day and, uh, you know, they're very much of like, you know, you know, you know try, try and be yourself and, you mm. know, because cause they're, cause they're just looking at, you know, your, for the competencies, so, so, you know, and, and like it says, like a tick, tick, tick thing. Uh, so, so so just try and get your personality across as 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 as, as much as you can. I think I think that's yeah. a really really big thing. Mm -hmm. So did you have, have you had a look at any of the videos? And did you see like last year's winner, Danielle, at all? Have, have, uh, have, have catch up or anything? I, I haven't spoken to the winner. No, I spoke to no. uh, obviously Jake and Luke. Um, Jake came second, was it? I believe was Jake second place. Mm -hmm. I think he might have been. Uh, was Jake second? I think he was nice. Yeah, he's mm. silver. Yes, yeah. Jake, yeah, Jake Silver. Um, yeah. And, um, oh, God, um, trying to think of his name now. So now, now you're testing me for last year now. Um, <laughs> I, I know, I know it was, uh, Glasgow took bronze, wasn't it? Yeah. Andrew, Andrew, oh. Andrew, there you go, Andrew. <laughs> hey, there we go. <laughs> yeah, well, but, um, yeah, I'm on Jake trial now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so Danielle took gold. Yes, Jake took silver, yeah. and uh, yeah, Andrew took bronze, and um, oh. and then there was an, um, another gentleman um, who took highly commended. And I'm just trying to think. And Is that I, like fourth place or fifth yeah. or whatever? Yeah, like yeah. Highly, highly commended. Yeah. Right. Okay. Got you. Um, okay. Yeah, yeah. So Jake really helped me with um with it was which video it was one of the videos we had to submit. Uh, I believe it was just a short one minute of just going for a session. Um, so he showed me his video and I just kind of played off that and put my own twist on it. So, yeah, he helped me out a lot. Oh, so, so, so he's giving you some really good advice, has he? Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Oh, that, that, that's, that's so nice of him to do that. And, and, and that's <laughs> great that obviously you've kept in touch. Mm. Yeah, we have. He's, he's doing really well. He's at a village gym at the moment in Portsmouth. So that's where he works at the moment. And yeah, and as I said earlier, Luke's in uh, David Lloyd's down Portsmouth. So oh, they're both okay. doing, doing well for themselves. Yeah. Oh, that, that, I mean, that, that, that's so good. I mean, unfortunately, obviously, we, we, um, we, we, we probably need to get in contact with back, back with them, don't we? And uh, you know, look, look at last year's uh, finalists and, and see yeah. where they are now, a, a year on type thing. Yeah. Uh, and we'll be doing the same with you because that year, that year just goes so, so quickly. Mm. Yeah. Um, but yeah, um, D Daniel obviously won gold last year. But uh, yes, she gave some great advice in the video as well. So, so you might want to, uh, when you get a chance. Of course, you're busy at university now. Yeah. But, but when you get a chance, tune in and have a look at that because uh, she gives some top tips as well. But uh, again, I think Danielle was very much like you know, you know, be yourself, enjoy it. Mm -hmm. um, is, yeah. is 
definitely one. And I think the judges gave some great advice, which was make sure you read and, and look for look for the stars. There you go, little top tip yeah. for you. Look for the stars is, is what I took from that interview the other day. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Anna? Anything? Yeah, I mean, yeah, like Danielle said as well, um, to not just focus on the gold, but to enjoy the experience and you yeah. get a lot out of the whole experience. So, you know, it really about learning from that whole whole journey that you're going through. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll do my best. You know, I'm, the thing is with like a you know, high pressure situation, that's what I see it as, unfortunately. That's just how I do it. So I just want, I want to do the best I can. That's why. Yeah. I want to do the best I can. And so if I'm not doing that, it, you know, it causes me to just stress out a little bit, but I'm going to, I'm going to enjoy it the best I can. Yeah. You ha you definitely have to. And, 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 have, and have your tutors, James and Rob, given you any advice for the finals? Um, I haven't been able to get into contact with them as of recently, but you know, they, they've always, when I'm at the college, they've always backed me on my abilities to do well. Um, you know, they've, always help like i do i've made mistakes in the pt side of things you know as always uh whether that be with my client maybe maybe i've done something a little bit wrong but they they know what i'm capable of you know they've, they've always said that i'm one to look out for so <laughs> so yeah we'll, well, we'll we're definitely looking forward to that then because we'll, yeah. obviously we get to look at the, the competition so we're really excited to obviously see the finals yep. and of course we'll be keeping a close up watch on you as well alfie so I, yeah. i'm sure you do amazingly well obviously yeah. fingers crossed obviously you know for you know i, I know you're after that gold medal and it's it's yeah, really the more we're speaking to all the finalists, each one of you are saying, I'm really competitive and I want that goal. So I, I think this year is going to be a really, really strong competition for you all. Yeah. I, I, I yeah, think I've seen some of the other competitors and they, yeah, they look serious. So <laughs> I'll, <laughs> I'll do the best I can. I will. <laughs> oh, you will. That, and, and, and that's all that anyone can ask of you. Just, just do yeah. your best and enjoy it. So... Alfie, it's been absolutely lovely talking to you and getting to know you. Uh, you too. All the best. Obviously, well, firstly, all the best for university. You know, that's Thank really you. exciting news. Uh, and, of course, all the best for the fi final. Um, fingers crossed for you. Um, and enjoy it. Uh, yeah, fingers crossed. Uh, in enjoy it. And, obviously, you don't get rid of us that quickly, I'm afraid. So, obviously, we will see you in the final. Yep. Uh, and we'll be doing another interview, of course, with, with you then. So, yep. take care. Enjoy it, and we'll see you in a few weeks' time. Lovely. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Elfie. Thank you. Enjoy the season. Bye. Bye. <laughs>